Now, as we said a little earlier, we all made it through tax filing day this past week, but another thing that some of us are intimidated by is a trip to the dentist's office. And here to tell us we don't need to feel that way is Dr. John Bettelotto. And Good morning to you, Dr. B. Now, let's talk about that. Uh, why don't we need to feel that way, you say, uh, about coming to the dentist? And why do people feel that way? Uh, people feel that way because of bad history and, you know, the fearful trips that just didn't didn't go well right now we've got new technology and techniques that basically uh, make your trip a lot more comfortable more like a, a spa than going to a sterile uh, you know a fearful place and you actually say that, that it's not such a bad place to go no. of course it's not because you're all talking about your health and making sure you're a better person there uh, with your teeth but it's good health starts with your teeth good health does uh, back in the uh, 19th and 20th century actually used to uh, be a theory that um, infections in other parts of the body started with the teeth and to cure those infections the treatment was to remove the teeth after many people Ouch. lost a lot of teeth <laughs> and a lot of the symptoms weren't relieved that theory lost steam but what we're finding today is that uh, there is a link between serious diseases such as heart disease diabetes uh, low birth weight babies uh, all from diseases that start in the gums and teeth so if we can prevent those and uh, get them alleviated then we'll have a better overall health okay well speaking of overall health and a great teeth or who has great teeth right now is our model Jessica Dr. B has brought her in here and he's going to talk about her great teeth and also why she has such great teeth with this uh, new piece of equipment as well. Well, we actually brought in Jessica. Jessica's got a great smile, uh, and we are going to be showing actually some decay in Jessica's mouth <laughs> using a new piece of equipment. She looks happy about that. She does. She was very <laughs> excited to come in and show that off today. Uh, we have a new piece of equipment that's been out just in the last year or so uh, to detect decay uh, on the chewing surfaces of teeth. Before, we've got a graphic here I'm going to show as I t talk about this. Yeah, what was done before Bef and what's now with this before, piece? Before, what we did to detect decay was use a sharp metal instrument to basically poke on the chewing surface or the enamel of yeah, teeth. Yeah, we all and like see that. It, see if it's uh, soft, and if it was soft, there was decay. But what we found was that decay doesn't start um, at the surface. It does break through the enamel, but it actually starts to uh, decay underneath the surface. So our metal instrument can't really detect it until too late. So but right the laser now is something different that really exactly. you don't have to worry about getting poked, which we don't no like. No poking, no pain, just a uh, little red beam of light that goes over the teeth painlessly and will um, detect decay before it starts to erode through and get a big black looking and this has been out for about uh, two years. About, about right? two years. And not a lot of offices have it. I'd probably say about 5 to 10% office might have it. But, but worthwhile. Uh, worthwhile. Okay, definitely, definitely. Catching things. This is a picture also mm -hmm. of Jessica's teeth that we're going to be scanning with the laser. And if you look at it, the, a couple of teeth do have some dark spots on Krispy them. Krispy Kreme there? <laughs> <laughs> Couple of teeth do have dark spots on them, but actually uh, probably could easily be missed uh, as not decay uh, at a dental exam. This last tooth will show does have uh, larger amounts of decay in it, but the tooth right here uh, probably would be not not treatment planned or uh, planned for a filling. And actually, we'll show with the laser that this is a great time to get in there. With any disease process, early detection is the best way to go. And with the laser, we're, we're catching it way, way before it erodes. And you cut that on, Jessica. You're we also did. talking about kids, too. They're kids, you can use this any, for kids. Any, any, any tooth this will work on. Well, you do a great job out there, Dr. B in Scottsdale. And Jessica, thanks for coming in this morning. you got great teeth. It looks like this piece of equipment really does the job. It does. It does. That's a laser detection device. And thanks for coming in, Dr. John Battelotto. And uh, Nicole, back over there to you with some good teeth as well. Hey, thanks a lot. All right. I don't know. I haven't been to the dentist in a while. That's not a good thing.